Okay, so we're going to do another game tutorial today. And I meant to do this you know, a couple days ago for uh, Halloween, but I've been really busy these past couple weeks, so sorry about all that. I haven't been uploading any videos for like a week and a half now, and, and whatever. Anyways, let me go and get the uh, GIMP started. So what I was going to do today is basically uh, take uh, Miss Ricci again here, and um, <clears throat> kind of go for a, go for a, uh, I guess like a zombie kind of a... Frankenstein kind of a look, I guess. You know, make the make her forehead a little bit bigger than what it is already, right? Put like a scar in it, and I guess you know, uh, change the, the the tone, the color tone of her skin, maybe to a green or something. But anyways, and uh, sorry if I'm talking kind of low. Basically, you know, I got some family in the house, and they're all asleep right now. So, hopefully, you guys can hear me. All right, so we're gonna get take this image and duplicate it a couple times. Grab your lasso select tool. Just uh, draw around the uh, forehead, like if you're gonna scalp it, I guess. All right now, go ahead and go to filters, distorts, curve bend, and this will just be the first initial uh, distort of the forehead. After this, we'll use the uh, scale tool. Let's try that. Preview. It's a bit much, but let's try this. Oops. There we go. Ah, that looks all right. That's okay. Now, <clears throat> it's going to be a uh, floating pasted layer, so we got to make it into an actual layer by uh, clicking this little button down here. Now you can move it around and do whatever you want with it. So let's go ahead and click our scale tool right here. Click on the image and check the, uncheck the eyeball so you can kind of see what you're doing. If you leave it checked, it basically you'll have two images. Now, it's kind of hard to see. Kind of get to where the hair kind of matches somewhat, right? So, something like that. Down a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Just had to fix the, uh, there's like a hard, hard edge right there. So Got to work on that a little bit. Maybe the scar will cover it. All right. Press scale. Recheck the eyeball. Right click on this image. Merge it down. All right. Let's get our heel tool. Okay. Now let's go ahead and make the brush a little bit bigger. And just fix any type of hard edges you see. Like right there and right there. You know, sample different areas. Hopefully, this will. All right, so once you're done kind of getting the image where it needs to be, um, let's go ahead and uh, open up another uh, image with a scar or whatever it is we want to do. Let's go with this right here. All right, let's go ahead and scale down the image just a little bit. Something like that, I would imagine. Like that. Press scale. Let's 
I'm going to move the image up a little bit and rotate it. So I guess right about there. Now let's remove the uh, scar from the image. Let's get the lasso tool. Let's go ahead and just go around the image like so. <clears throat> Select invert. Make sure there's an alpha channel. And there is. Hit the delete key and select none. Now, usually when you do stuff like this, you're gonna have some type of excess, right? So let me see, show what I mean. It's like right, right there. So let's go ahead and just uh, get rid of that. Circle around it with your lasso tool. Hit enter. Now hit delete. Now select none. Let's go ahead and go to uh, layer auto crop. Let's move it up just a little bit. Let's uh, do a scale on it just to manipulate it just a little bit. Like so. Scale. Alright. Let's get the eraser tool with a fuzzy brush. Alright. Let's just go ahead and uh, erase some of the hard edges like so nothing too too fancy there we go all right now on that image right there go ahead and right click and merge down all right let's go ahead and grab the heel tool and just go ahead and like kind of Blend it in with the forehead. You can grab, you know, other samples and kind of like make little scratches and, you know what I mean? Okay, now, okay, this is more or less how you want it, right? So let's go ahead and uh, add some color to the face. Let's make a transparent layer. Grab your lasso select tool. Go around the face, like so, all the way around, you know, minus the hair, of course, just the, uh, the skin. <clears throat> All right, so you got the face selected. Now you got a minus from the eyes, right? I don't want I don't want to have the eyes, you know, change color. So I'm gonna minus from selection. So go to the toolbox right here. Subtract. Now let's go ahead and draw inside the eye. Like so. Okay, now let's go to select feather, feather by, I don't know, five, I guess is fine. Select a dark green, a really dark green, almost black. With the bucket fill tool, fill the area. 
All right. Now select none. Filters blur. Gaussian blur. By five. Okay. Now set that to a soft light. Like so. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, fix some of this area around the, uh, the edges with your smudge tool. But first, if you have any type of like hard area, hard, I mean, sorry, like a dark areas, just go ahead and use your uh, fuzzy eraser, like so. Then after this, we'll use the smudge tool to uh, to smudge the uh, the pink areas back in place or the green areas. I mean, there we go. All right, now let's get the smudge tool and make the brush fairly large and just go ahead and smudge, blend, I guess I should say, all around. There we go, looks a little better. Okay, so now you got the base color of your green, right? So let's go and make another transparent layer, like so. And make sure that transparent layer is underneath the green, okay? Now let's select the color of black and your brush with the fuzzy brush. And let's go ahead and add some highlights, or basically dark uh, areas around the eyes and any type of wrinkle or you know part of the of the uh, face that that you know you can add a little bit of depth to it like so around here maybe right here brush is a little bit too big around the mouth a little bit underneath the nose okay and also around the hairline a little bit up in there around here and across the scar all right now let's go ahead and go filters blur Gaussian blur about 50 to 60 maybe 80 or so okay now select that to a soft light and go ahead and repeat the blur one more time repeat blur Gaussian blur there you go it's real subtle you can barely see it okay now let's make another transparent layer Make sure that's on the bottom again of the uh, highlighted layer. Highlighted, I'm sorry, the uh, the black layer we just blurred. Make sure the transparent layer is underneath that. Is what I'm saying. Now go to your uh, uh, brush again and set that mode to soft light. Right now, again, just go ahead and add more highlights, like so. Maybe around the scar at the very bottom. Around that area. Don't like the way that looks too much. Alright. Filters. Repeat Gaussian blur. 
There we go. It looks a lot better. Lower it down just a little bit. The opacity, I mean. And also with the green, if it's too much green, just go ahead and lower it down. Right about there looks all right. Okay, that looks good to me. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. File. Save as. Save as whatever. Save. Export. Raise the quality. Save. Okay. So here's the before. Like, okay, that's the before, and this is the after. There we go. <laughs> that's before and after. All right. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys like that, and uh, see you guys later.